What's up, folks? How y'all doing? The Super Bowl 2019 year in review. I'm doing a review on the game that just recently went on. So here goes. Super Bowl. Where people throw Super Bowl parties every single year. A lot of people go to the stadium to catch the game live. Many sports fans paint their cells for their favorite team. People go wild and crazy, halftime shows, rewards, Super Bowl commercials, you name it. Part of it is propaganda, but another part of it is just for entertainment. But um, here's the review on the game that just recently went on. So, it was the Rams versus the Patriots. And a lot of people were rooting for the Rams because the Patriots play at the Super Bowl every single year. A lot of people cannot stand the Patriots. They hate the Patriots because they beat everybody's team every single year. And they always play in the Super Bowl. A lot of people get tired of seeing them. Yes, they're good. Yes, they're good at what they do, and I appreciate their skills, but a lot of people get tired of seeing them at every game and at every Super Bowl because they would like to see other teams play in the Super Bowl for once besides the Patriots. I mean, each year a different team plays in the Super Bowl, but it's always against the Patriots or... Yeah, it's always a different team versus the Patriots. Like, each year when the Super Bowl goes on, the Patriots are in the playoffs. They win every single year. Now, it's not to say that they haven't lost some games. They played last year and they lost. But this year, Brady must have been working or training really hard for this game because they won, a, won once again. 13 to 3. The Patriots won once again. And a lot of people are probably pissed right now because I know a lot of people didn't want them to win since they win every single year. Hold on. A lot of people will want to see different teams play in the Super Bowl besides the Patriots. That's why so many that's why most people can't stand them because they see they get tired of seeing them every single year. Like they would like to see other teams playing the Super Bowl besides them. And another reason why they can't stand the Patriots is because I think because of the name. It might be offensive to some people. The name is based on the type of society that we live in, like we live in a patriot patriotic society that is run by patriarchs, and that's probably where they got their name. The Patriots, you know, the team from New Link from New England. And plus another reason why people probably hate the Patriots because because of where they're from. Because before before America had its independence a lot of us were slaves to the British colony, New England, and we got tired of them controlling and dictating our lives. So a bunch of Amer Americans fought and rebelled against them and took control of their lives. And that's how this country was started. This country was started on rebellion. But that's a topic for another video. I'm here to do a review on the here to do a review on this game that just recently went on. Once again, the Patriots won 13 and the Rams to three. Now I thought the scores would be a little bit higher than that, at least 20 or 30 or 50 or 100, but it is what it is. 
But a lot of people are pissed right now because once again, the Rams lost and the Patriots won again, which means they're going to be at the Super Bowl again next year. Hell, they may, they're going to be, they might as well, people might as well face it. As long as they continue to win every single game, they will always be in the Super Bowl. And that's going to piss a lot of people off. But, hey, unless some other football team crushes them, Tom Brady and the Patriots will always be in the Super Bowl. He must have been training and working really hard this year. Due to him due to him and them losing last year, you know, they must have trained really hard for this. They probably train hard every single year, like – He's the quarterback. He comes up with strategies to help them win the games, some strategies and teamwork. So he's got some good strategy skills. Even though that he's strong and a good athlete, Tom Brady, he's probably really, really smart and has a good strategy to help them win the game. But yes, here goes. And halftime shows. I heard that Maroon 5 sung for the halftime. I didn't watch the Super Bowl, but I heard that they were that they sung for the halftime show. I'll have to watch it on YouTube since I didn't watch it on TV, but I'm going to check it out to see what I think think of it Maroon 5 at the halftime that's pretty cool they're a pretty good music band but in the Super Bowl commercials basically honestly I watch Super Bowl for the commercials you know for the products that they're selling and the new Movies that are coming out and the funny commercials, I watch the Super Bowl for that. So there are times where I may watch it for a team, for a specific team that I'm rooting for. But most of the time, I watch Super Bowl for the funny commercials. But anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. Sorry that your team lost again. And I know a lot of Patriot, a lot of Patriot fans are probably happy, but most people that I know that watch football can't stand them. And I know a lot of people are probably pissed that they won again. But it is what it is. Until someone else crushes the Patriots or comes up with a new strategy. They'll always be number one and they'll always be in the Super Bowl. Like, I know a lot of people are going to get mad when they see this, but it's pretty much the truth. Basically, hmm. Basically, I don't get into competition in sports like that, but I watch for entertainment. And I'll give the game a, I don't even know what to give it. I ju I'm just doing a review, doing a review about it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed your game, enjoyed yourselves. Have a good night and I'll catch you in the next video.